Welcome back to Cleveland Under Rocks. Hell Life is Burn Bar. And I'm Matt. And that's Alex. And Hi it's guys. Makers Monday. Makers Monday. <laughs> Woo! I'm excited. Welcome back, guys. We got our new bottle of Makers. And this one is Cherry Cola. This one came from Wine Palace in Michigan, and this is bottle number 236 out of 240. So if you're looking for it, they had a handful of them there left, so if you are looking for this one, they do have it there. So these ones, obviously, are the ones that come with the different stage profiles. So this one has one baked American pure. This has one seared French cuvee, uh, zero makers 46, three French roasted median, I'm probably saying that one wrong, and five toasted French spice for a total of 109.7 proof. How many fingers you got? <laughs> so let's crack this it's baby open and see what this one tastes like. This is the one that I've been looking for for about six to seven months here. I've been telling everyone to try and help me find this one. And when I do, we get to open this on a video and that'd be super cool. There you go. I think somebody from the side wants to try one. I know, Mark's like, I'm really hyped for this. Let's be get one of those too. All right guys, here we go. Well, there goes the red. Alright, the wax is gone. Ooh, did you hear it's a that? Nice pop. This gonna be good. it's gonna be good, I can oh, tell it's, already. It's fresh. Right. Alright, Mark, you're on first pour, buddy. Alright, Alex. Maker's mark and tasting like Coca-Cola. How could you go wrong with this one? Exactly. And see this is it. Alex is a Maker's Mark ambassador, as you guys have seen from the past episodes if you watch them all. And he got to wear his Maker's Mark shirt, which I don't have one yet, so I'm just rocking the Cleveland on a Rock shirt. You know what we do. I'm sure he'll get one sooner or later. I'm going to have They should probably have sent me one already with all the 52 bottles I have of them, you would one think. One might pop up somewhere. You never know. That'd be killer. That would be killer. So what kind of scent are we getting on this one? Ooh, that smells oh. sweet. Yeah. Like, really sweet. This one smells like a baked banana bread. Not with the banana, but like a bread scent to it. I think I'm actually getting a little bit of coke. Coke? Coke smell, yeah. Oh, that would be killer. Can you just imagine drinking Makers that tastes like Coke without having Coke in it? Oh. Fantastic. Perfect. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at. That's so perfect, right here. Yeah, it's just like a, the normal light brown sugar in here, uh, like a toasted smell in here, and like a almost like a bread yeasty scent to it. it almost, It almost finishes with like a... You get a fruit scent on the end where it's like a sweetness that comes out. So when you cook muffins and you put sugar on top and you bake it, yeah. that little crystallized sugar on top, that scent that you the get off the part, top of the muffin. The best part of the muffin too, the crunch right that's, there. Exactly, oh, exactly. Yeah. That's what this smells like at the end. It's like a sweetness, like a fruit sweetness, like sugar. This is going to be good. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers, Cheers guys. guys. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Mark. Oh wow, that's good. Oh yeah. You got a nice depth of warmth that goes through your back of your throat. Tell me that's not freaky. Isn't that weird? It tastes yeah. cherry. It does. It's smooth. See, and maybe that it? was the fruit scent that I was getting on the front of it. It does. It has a very light cherry note that kicks you through it. There's like a nice little brown sugar through it, and I still get the taste of like a bread, like a loaf of bread. Not a, not like a sweet bread. Almost like a dessert type of bread after dinner. Put your butter on it, melt it in the microwave, and you know what I'm saying? I'm getting yeah. that here. But yeah, it's very cherry heavy. This is good. I like this. I like it too. I mean, it was really smooth. I mean, I, I don't know. You said you had a little bit of, maybe there's a tinge of a. Like it's a just like tinge. a warmth. Yeah, it's like a warmth, warmth that, that drives warmth. back through your throat, and then perfect, you get all the taste out. Perfect word for that. It wasn't warm. Is it? I mean, this is this is really good. I like this one a lot. This is. Yeah, your second taste doesn't disappoint either. Now it's not. There's no. Well, the warmth is in the very back of your throat as it's go, about to go down. But you're you're heavy in the cherry. You're almost like a, I would say almost like a brown sugar. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I'm oh. getting, for some reason, I'm getting like a muffin taste on this. And this is I'm, absolutely fantastic. I'm getting a Coke, cherry Coke taste out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's just the name playing tricks with my mind. Right. But, I mean, 
Because we've, we've looked at we've, it for the last yeah. four or five weeks. <laughs> we've had some other ones though that didn't happen, didn't have that, you know, the taste, of, you know, didn't get that. But on this one, that's I mean, true. This one, to me, anyway, it's, it's like right on the money. Yeah, this one's good. I think yeah. this would be my second favorite uh, to the uh, red velvet cake. And then I think my third favorite would be the uh, iced tea one, the sweet tea. I like the sweet tea one, and I do like this one. This is just really good. Makers make some amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, we have some more Makers Mondays coming here soon, too. So this is going to be an a awesome Makers half a month here, or within the next couple weeks. You know what this up. one? It'd be nice in the summertime, sitting around a campfire. Sipping on it with maybe an ice cube or two in there just to chill it. I would put two cherries in it and a little bit of juice and rock it outside oh, in a half a glass. Frozen cherries. Oh, there you go. Put oh, yeah. that in there instead of the ice cubes. That would work. Uh -oh. You could do the rum soaked ones. Yeah. Drop them on in there. Add a little kick to it a little bit, you know. Mm. Mm. This is perfect. So, honestly, the Maker's bottles are my favorites. I have the whole shelf of all the Maker's stuff over here. Absolutely love everything Maker's does. There's only been like one of them where I didn't really care for it. I mean, that's okay. I have two of them. So I'm going to be passing those out to people. But uh, yeah, Maker's Products makes some amazing, amazing stuff. So go out there, find the Private Select bottle when they do come out in Ohio. They usually come out in batches of five or six every six months in Ohio. We'll get a, a batch of six different flavors. Then all of a sudden they're gone. Then the end of the year comes, there's a six new ones that come out in Ohio. Go pick those up too. You really can't get a bad one. I've only ever had one bad one out of the last three years of getting them. So it is what it is. So, hopefully you guys are drinking something that you like out there. And if you guys are not at home and you're drinking with your friends, make sure you're Ubering, get home safe, don't drink and drive. And I think I might take this one home. Right? <laughs> but make sure you uh, like, share, subscribe, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikToks, do all them things. We'll see you guys next time.